Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Tuesday to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. You see, one thing about being a vlogger, you can represent the people of the country. We are talking about the poor and the average Jamaicans because I don't want to represent Jamaicans who are rich. No, 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 no. Jamaicans who are poor and average. Those are the persons that my channel cater to. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. The Jamaican Pinocchio, a.k.a. Andrew Onis. Yeah, man. The Jamaican Pinocchio placed a statement in the Observer saying that it's not about revenue. Then, Mr. Prime Minister, what is it about? In Pinocchio, the high ticket fines. What is it about? Andrew Onis, your party has no funds to run the local government election. Your cash cow, which is SSL, is in fraud saga and is probing by the FBI and other police agencies in Jamaica. So, therefore, you can't get no money for run no campaign. No campaign funding whatsoever. So, you are now pressuring average and poor Jamaicans, including all motorists, because most motorists are average and poor between average Jamaicans to poor Jamaicans. So, you will disguise as a Prime Minister who care and you go into the new traffic act system and manipulate it and curve it to your liking because you have no money to run the local government election. Mr. Prime Minister Andrew Wallace, we are no fool. You can't trick us. We know that these high ticket fines are money which you are going to wheel your way around like a snake to get it to run your party campaign for local government election. Don't play with me, Mr. Andrew Wallace. Do not play with us. We are not fools. You are the most corrupt Prime Minister in history. You are. You are the worst Prime Minister in the history of JLP. The worst. You have not done anything for average Jamaicans, even poor Jamaicans as well. You have done nothing. And this government know that majority persons who are on our roads are between average and poor class Jamaicans. Yes, average and poor class Jamaicans outnumber rich wealthy Jamaicans in Jamaica. So therefore, these fines were placed in position to pressure the poor and average Jamaicans. Mr. Prime Minister, don't play with me. Do not play with us. We know that you need the money to run local government election because your cash cow has gone bankrupt. Your cash cow Stocks and Security Limited can't give you no money again. So your conniving and deceitful mind tell you say, put more money upon the fines them. Pressure poor people. Pressure average people. Pressure poor Jamaicans. Pressure average Jamaicans who can't afford these high ticket fines. Mr. Prime Minister, you are a disgrace to Jamaicans. You are an enemy of the poor and average class Jamaicans. You are a black man with a white man mentality. I said it. You are a black man with a white man slavery mentality. And look how conniving and deceitful Andrew Wallace is. He stated that these new traffic acts were to be implemented years ago in public and they weren't so why now Mr. Andrews why now why not your first term but why now I bet you if stocks and screen limited wasn't in any fraud saga these laws or these high ticket fines would not be implemented 
but because you cash cow under investigation and you can't get no more money and your bonus from them to run local government election or other corrupt activities you start pressure the people them the poor and the average Jamaicans Mr. Anjouanis, stop the lie. You are Jamaican Pinocchio. And you know what is so sad, my viewers and my subscribers? These high ticket fines 50 grand, 30 grand, 150k, 10 grand, you name it. Most taxi men now make for a week. And also, every Jamaicans who have their own vehicle, who are not getting a good salary and can't maintain their vehicle properly having a hard time paying these fines. Now, you say if Angelos was a good Prime Minister, if he was a very caring and loving Prime Minister to the people of the country who would like him in power, he would have placed these fines so affordable that everybody could afford to pay them. These high ticket fines are going to now create rebellion and more crime in the country. So the JLP party is pressuring every Jamaicans and poor class. Jamaica will no traffic act, laws and fines because they have no money to run the local government election so they want the revenue. And also, by that big bonus they gave police sector workers last year December, they want back the money too. So there are two things they are trying to achieve. To get money, to run election and other corrupt activities and also money for the money they gave police sector workers for their bonus. Now Jamaicans open the eye and see what takes place. Don't be easily fooled by the illusion that this government are creating and has created. And if I may add this my viewers and my subscribers, these new chatak fines to be honest with you, it gives the police more power to abuse their authority and also invoke in more corruption. So Mr. Andrew Wallace, these new ticket fines that you have created are going to let police go into corruption even more. Yeah man, you see people, everything Andrew Wallace put in hand to turn to corruption. And I say this with no apology. Now we head towards Riverton City in Kingston to be exact, where last night two men were killed during a lead shootout by the police. Now dead is a 17 year old who is called Jaffe Davy and also a man known as Chaps. Now two firearms were covered and also 15 rounds of ammunition. Now Chaps was said to be an upcoming dancer artist in the dancer music world. But I one thing I have to say to the youth then is either badness or music. You cannot have both. It's either badness and music. Choose wisely. Now also in Maxill Avenue last night, two soldiers were shot by gunmen. At this time, the information is very limited. However, later on, I'll give you more update on what truly transpired in Maxwell Avenue last night. Now we head towards Gregory Park in Portmore to be exact, where a lady is a shopkeeper who is in her 50s, who is known as Diana Griffiths, was killed in Gregory Park. Now my viewers and my subscribers, based on information, Miss Griffiths was sitting at her gate when gunmen approached her and they fired several shots hitting her all over the body. Those gunmen then escaped. Now she was rushed to the place of recovery in Spanish Town where she succumbed to her injuries. Now those same criminals set ablaze her shop. Now the killing of Diana Griffiths happened at her gate this morning. And also my viewers and my subscribers, the police are seeking three men who they believe were connected to the murder of Miss Griffiths this morning. 
Their names are Sanjay Tracy, Ian Thomas, and also Miguel Tracy. Now we head towards Annette Gardens to be exact. And this right now is a man who is known as Peter Francis, otherwise called Juki, of Hanover in Annette Gardens. Now last night he was killed during a confidence of the police in Annette Gardens. Now based on information, this man on the screen right now is of an unsound mind. However, he was killed by the police in a confrontation. Now residents of Hanover in Annette Gardens have blocked the road stating that the police killed this man who is Peter Francis aka Juki. You know, however, Indicom has took up the matter and they're investigating the alleged shooting of this man of unsound mind in Annette Gardens last night. Now we head towards Limstead St. Catherine. The rescue right now is Frederick Grant, who is his 50s, the husband of one of RGR's top prominent individual, who is Clear Grant. Now, Frederick Grant, who is from the Rosemount Housing Scheme in St. Catherine. Now his body was found in a place called Ty Dixon District in a remote Cain Field just several miles away from the town of Linstead, my viewers. Now that Canefield is known as Ready Park Sugar Estate Canefield. And also, that Canefield is known to be notorious, where several bodies has been found in recent, my viewers and my subscribers. Now exactly 8.25 p.m., the police were called to the scene of where Frederick Grant was. Now, when the police went on the scene, they saw where Frederick Grant body was slumped over the car steering and what appeared to be a single gunshot wound to his mouth and with his firearm in his hand now his body was moved to the hospital where he was pronounced dead now the police are theorizing that it could be suicide but i don't believe it was suicide i believe he was murdered now to my viewers and my subscribers what say you comment below and tell me if you believe this was a suicide. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, have a safe and blessed. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy